Well, it is Friday and I am back in the office. I was in Warren County, New Jersey today representing a client. Now I'm back in the office in Morristown, New Jersey, finishing up the week, a very busy week for our law firm in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. We came out today with our weekly update. We turned out to over 4,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Some great articles in our, in our e-update. Once again, it rounds up all of our latest content in the form of our blogs, our podcasts, and it really brings everything together for our clients and their families. And we put it out each and every Friday because we realize that it provides valuable content to them. With that said, they come up with a blog article today regarding plain view and vehicle searches. And when it comes to vehicle searches, we focus a lot of our time in this area because as I've stated in previous blogs, and videos and podcasts and in my books, a lot of criminal cases begin with police stops and vehicle searches where police identify contraband, whether it be in the form of illegal drugs, a gun, or a firearm, whether it be in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Now, the article today focused in on the plain view doctrine, which is an exception to the search warrant requirement in Pennsylvania and the warrantless search requirement. Uh, in New Jersey. Now, remember, normally police need probable cause to search a car. In New Jersey, they don't need a warrant to search a car if they have probable cause. In Pennsylvania, they do need a warrant to search a car, even if they have probable cause to believe the car contains contraband. Now, there are some exceptions, but a exception that is both uh, that applies to both Pennsylvania and New Jersey is plain view. What that basically means is if the police officer comes upon a vehicle and finds something, identifies something in his or her plain view, they can seize it and they can arrest the driver for illegal possession of that item. And then following that arrest, they can impound the car. And once the car is impounded, they can do an inventory search, which isn't as, as um, comprehensive as a, as a search warrant search, but it in many cases yields perhaps additional contraband or different or additional evidence that could possibly assist the prosecution in the case. So it's a very, very important topic, the plain view doctor. And I put the blog article out there because I realized that a lot of people will be traveling in and out of Pennsylvania and, and New Jersey this weekend. It's it's the holidays, people are shopping in addition, like each and every Saturday and Sunday, like myself, parents are driving kids to practices and games. So if you are traveling in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, be mindful that the search standard is different in both states. The warrantless search in, in Pennsylvania is illegal. The <clears throat> warrantless search does apply in New Jersey. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website gamebonemall.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. Now, it is Friday. It is the weekend. <clears throat> if you are stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, do not submit, I'm sorry, do not refuse the chemical test in either state. It will never help your criminal case. In addition, you have the right to refuse a field sobriety test. But what I always say is tell the officer why you're refusing it. It could be some physical limitation because the prosecution will argue if your case goes to trial that you refuse the test because this is conscious of guilt. It's an argument that they frequently make both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. But again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you are traveling in New Jersey, remember that your Pennsylvania gun does not belong in New Jersey, there is no reciprocity between both states and New Jersey, unlike Pennsylvania, has mandatory minimum sentencing when it comes to the, the illegal possession of guns or firearms. And remember, if you're traveling in New Jersey and don't have a permit to carry, which most people do not, you are in illegal possession of that firearm and face a possible state mandatory minimum sentence. So have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all very soon.